In this Shanghai apartment building, anger and frustration echo through the halls. Residents here have been waiting for food. Hunger has pushed them to hit back at local authorities, dressed in white. Many in Shanghai are at their wits' end after a month in lockdown with limited access to food and care. As these amateur videos show, authorities are allowed to use any means necessary to quiet the anger. On social media, there are also, tragically, multiple videos of suicide attempts. After over 40 days of lockdown, Chinese authorities continue combing the city of 25 million people for positive cases. China's zero-COVID policy means the police can, at any moment, cart you away. We need to transfer you. You've been in contact with a positive case. Open up or we'll break the door. Just one COVID-19 case in an apartment complex means the entire building can be transferred to an isolation center, regardless of a negative test. That's how, day and night, thousands are taken to quarantine centers. A cleanup teams spray bleach and disinfectant in their empty apartments. Outside, the streets of Shanghai are still deserted. Some are even walled off by metal fences. The police are everywhere, as are roadblocks of impassive guards. I have a laissez passer signed by the city. My mother is very ill. She's been alone for 20 days, as I've had to isolate. Why aren't you letting me go home? Just beyond the barricades, hundreds have set up camp on the sidewalks, waiting for the lockdown to be lifted. 